Sandra, how are you involved with the WebFest this year? Um, I was a jury member this year for the documentary category and the mystery thriller category. And so you're all the way from Switzerland though. How did you actually become involved in the Vancouver Web Fest? Um, Suzette met a friend of mine from Montreal um, in Cannes at MIPCOM in October. And she asked my friend Sylvia to be a jury member. And then Sylvia asked me because I am basically the social media queen of Europe. <laughs> so what are, I mean, is this your first time actually judging? No, it's not. Okay, so you've done it before? Yes. And so what are the criteria that you actually look for when you're judging a web series? Um, well, the, the thing was that um, it was really hard because some of the submissions, they were like these um, beautiful, you know, transmedia projects that had so much more to it than just the web series. And then some others, they were ju just, I'm just, you know, I'm saying just <laughs> web series, but they, they really touched me and, um, you know, told such a lovely story. But compared to the bigger ones, um, I, yeah, so it was a bit hard to, uh, to rate everything because it had a different background to it. But I think it's, yeah. So you're doing uh, two categories, documentary and mystery and thriller, is that right? Yeah. And so do you have different criteria for either one of them? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think mystery thriller it was a bit tougher. It's, I think it's also it's it's more difficult to produce it because you know you need money to make scripted documentary. You can just take your camera. You can go out if you have amazing protagonists. You know it's gonna be a great documentary. Uh, mystery thriller. It's a bit uh, more difficult. So you need actors, which is uh, it's quite hard to find um, good actors for a little money. Um, and then you have to uh, have the right setting, you know, it needs to be like mystery like. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's definitely uh, different criteria for it. Is this your first time in Vancouver? It is. And what do you love about the Web Fest so far? Uh, I really I really enjoyed the workshops yesterday, um, especially the one about audience development because Annalise said a lot of things that I say on a daily basis <laughs> and um, also the legal issues session was really good. Like coming from Europe, it's a bit different, but I felt like I, I still learned a lot. And have you been to different web fests around the world? Um, Web festivals, not so much, but film festivals, yeah. What do you love about going to festivals? I just love meeting new people, you know, we're all passionate about the same thing. And um, so it's, it's nice to make uh, new connections. And I think I've, I've always been like that. And uh, yeah. Well, like, what do you love about Vancouver Web Fest so far? Um, well, First of all, I, I, I love to meet all these creators, you know, some of, some of the, the series that I actually judged. <laughs> it's nice to meet them. And um, it's also nice uh, to get a different perspective on things because I feel like North America is a lot further developed <laughs> in this area than in Europe. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's good. Because I feel like I'm, I'm more forward thinking for Europe, so it's good to be here and, and see that everyone is, or not everyone, but people are thinking the way I think, so it's a confirmation. That's good. Well, it's yeah. great to have you here with us this weekend, and I hope you're enjoying your time and have a great rest of the weekend. Thank you. You're welcome.